Hey guys, so I'm back today and I'm going to be filming a haul video and it's stuff I've purchased over the past two weeks. Um, I went to Zara and I went to Sephora and I went to CVS or Target um, but it's a collective haul of stuff that I've got over the past two weeks and I just wanted to share it and I guess I'll get started with the Zara stuff. Um, I went to Zara and it took me a few trips to go. I like kept going back and forth because I never really try things on in the store just because it's winter time and I get really annoyed with taking off my coat and my pants and if I have leggings on under and tops and stuff like that. It's just so annoying to try things on and you're already flustered when you're shopping in the store and during the winter time just because there's so many people and you're wearing so much and it gets hot. They do have like usually heaters inside in the stores so it's like a mess. Anyway, so I went to Zara. Picked up a few things. The first thing, um, I have them hanging here, but um, I bought this uh, blush colored blazer. This uh, cost me $29.99, so a very decent price, especially for a pretty blazer like this. I think I'll get a lot of use out of it, and yeah, it's perfect. i um, super excited to wear it. So this is what it looks like. It has one button right here, and yeah, so pretty cheap for a blazer because... Um, Zara blazers usually run pretty expensive, so I got that. And then I picked up another blazer, and this one is like a pinstriped, I'm not sure if it's going to catch on camera, but it is a pinstriped, like, navy color, here we go, a navy, and then it has some elbow pads, and it's like camel color, with their suede elbow pads, and it's more of a long, like, very loose blazer. I think I'll get a lot of use out of this. And this was $39.99, so again, a really decent price for blazers, especially from Zara. Because original price, I think this was, let me check, $140, so $39 is a really great deal. Got an itchy nose, excuse me. So that's a pretty good deal for that blazer. And then, I also picked up this uh, sweater I have on. It's more of like a, a looser sweater, and it has like a little bit of a small hood or a, a extra material I guess on the neck area it's very flattering it's this gray color I don't know this is what it looks like it's just really loose and flowy and it's definitely my style um, yeah so that's what I got and then that's some more stuff so I picked up these pants right here and they're just like floral um, white pants and they have like little cuts on the ankle area and they're just these really tailored pants they fit me really well um, and I got these for $19.99 so pretty good deal um, I believe Zara is still having their sale I think I went later earlier this week to, to exchange some stuff and I had picked this sweater up when I went to exchange stuff so pretty good deal you'll see probably this in the outfit of the day blog post. Um, I probably already posted it. If not, um, you'll see it in a later post. If it is posted, I'll put a link down below. As well as this blouse right here. I wore this yesterday. I'm going to try to maneuver this so I can show you guys everything. Um, so I picked up this blouse also. It's a, like a camouflage with navy and a darker navy or black and a burgundy red. It's really pretty. I love this blouse. It's all open back. Let me show you. It's open back. It has a tie up on the top of the your back and then on the bottom here it like I don't know if the camera's gonna catch this well. But it's like it swoops down on both sides. So it lays low on your back. It looks awesome. It just like crisscrosses on the back and it is just really nice. I love this blouse and I wore this yesterday again with a skirt and you'll see that on a blog post also. If it's already up, I'll link it down below. If not, you'll see it in an upcoming blog post. And then I also picked up this t-shirt and um, I usually don't buy too many graphic tees but I thought this was cute and for the price this was $9.99 and it says something very addictive and then it has flowers all over and I forgot to mention this blouse was $19.99 so really cheap for a very well made blouse 
And then I also picked up this floral, another floral blouse, some into florals, I guess. Um, this floral blouse was, I think, $7.99. Yep, $7.99. It's like more of a boxier top. I thought this would be really cute with a blazer on top. Or like a motorcycle jacket. A leather jacket. And then it has lace all throughout the back. So it's all lace. And then the floral in the front. So I thought this was really cute. This is what it looks like. And I, I'm excited to wear it. So really cheap. $7.99. And then I also picked up this clutch. This is another floral piece. I picked up so much floral. It's kind of ridiculous. But um, I usually wear basics, so it was nice to pick up some stuff with a little more color in it. Um, and this was $7.99 also. I don't really own clutches like that, so I thought this would be really cute to go out with in the springtime. And throw it on with like so a plain outfit like this with white jeans and just have a pop of color in the clutch and some pretty shoes like some yellow neon yellow shoes I think would go pretty good with this or some blue shoes I don't know you know style it different ways but whatever then I also picked up this skirt here it's like a skirt it's um, shorts and it looks like a skirt from the front but this is what it looks like it's um navy and gray and they're very well made however they are so big on me it's ridiculous i have to get them taken in on both sides and this is an extra small which is kind of crazy i got this also for 19.99 um i really like them but it's kind of big on me like really big and i've lost some weight recently i've been going to the gym a lot and i've lost some weight so it's like my clothes are fitting me differently but it's ridiculous that even an extra small Zara doesn't fit me. I don't understand. Um, and then I bought this, which was like a total freaking mishap. I don't even know why. Okay, so I meant to buy like, you know the sweatpants uh, that are like more in style now. Not sweatpants, they're like joggers. There you go. There's the term. Joggers are very in. They've been in for about the past year. But I thought the, these were joggers and they're not they're like these pants and i have to exchange them because they're freaking so big on me this is a size small they were 15.99 the thing is they were right next to these joggers and then i told the guy that worked at zara if he can find my size for me because i didn't want to he had just like folded all the stuff in that area so i asked him i said oh can you get me this in a size like small or extra small and it was right next to the sweatpants so i saw, thought it was the same thing i guess or maybe he thought it was the same thing and I ended up buying these by accident, which kind of sucks, but it is what it is. Can't do anything about it. So that was, I think, everything I bought at Zara. So I'm going to go on to everything else. So I put everything in here, basically. So I'm just going to show you guys what I got. So I picked up this hairspray from Target. Um, I think this is a... Sorry, I'm just like... Let me just remove this tissue paper now before that's all you hear throughout the video <laughs> so i picked up this hairspray it's from pantene it's the pantene stylers hairspray and flexible hold um i guess it's one for lightweight hold for 24 hours so i usually use the alnet by l'oreal um hairspray and i really like that one but it's so expensive i swear i think i spent 20 bucks last time I bought it and I think that's completely ridiculous for hairspray even though I really like that one but I thought I'd try out another one and I hadn't tried this I think this is new so I haven't used it yet I'll let you guys know if I like it um, but that's that and I also bought a loofah because I needed a new one and I bought some note cards thank you cards because I have to send out some thank you cards and then I also picked up from Target um, this foundation right here. This is the Rimmel Stay Matte Liquid Mousse Foundation. This is in 200 Soft Beige. This is a new Rimmel um, foundation that they came out with. I don't know if it's going to focus. But this is it. Um, I have it on today. Um, I have mixed reviews on it right now. So I don't know if you guys want me to do like a full review slash demo on this. If you do, leave it in a comment below. Um, but yeah, I've been trying this out. This is a lightweight shine control foundation and it was really cheap, especially for drugstore foundations. I think it was like $5.99 or maybe even less. Um, yeah, so 
if you want me to do a re review on this, let me know. <clears throat> I'm sorry. I have phlegm. Nothing I could do about it. And then I also picked up a hand sanitizer because I needed one. Um, I also picked up these. This is the first time I saw these at the drugstore. I saw these from Flair de Force. She had showed these on her channel. And where she lives, they had came out, I believe, um, a few months ago, maybe even a year ago. But this is the first time I'm seeing them in the States. And this is the colors that I picked up. These are the Maybelline. No, not Maybelline. Maybe I said Maybelline on this one. This is the Rimmel Stay Matte, if I maybe said Maybelline. I don't know. But these are the Rimmel um, Show Off Lip Lacquers. And they are these really vibrant... Um, basically, they're like liquid lipstick. They're like a lip gloss version of lipstick. I don't know, but let me just swatch it. I got them in four different colors. I got... Hold on. Let me swatch them all and then I'll tell you what they are. And this is just with one swipe of the color. So... Two of these that I got kind of look similar. One is more mauve than the other. But let me show you. Oh god. I'm going to make a mess of this, I swear. Okay, so if I can get this correctly. Look at that. That's one swipe. Um, let me just read them off. The f Hold on. I'm still learning how to do this, guys. Leave me alone. Okay, so... As you can see, these are the colors. The one on the bottom there is Celestial. The red one is, which is that really vibrant one, that one is Big Bang. The one on top of that is Nova. And the final one on top, which is this one right here, that one is Luna. So Celestial, Big Bang, Nova, and Luna. I also picked up a concealer. This is the Revlon age defying targeted dark spot concealer treatment and this is what it looks like um this has one of those little sponge applicators at the top kind of like the maybelline one my favorite the instant age Rewind one um i guess this is kind of the same concept on it um i'll let you guys know what i think about this one and then i have the receipts Okay, now I'll get into the um, Sephora haul, so what I got from Sephora. So the first thing that I'll show you guys is the Soap and Glory Flake Away Sugar... Sh no. The Soap and Glory Flake Away Shea Butter Sugar and Peach Seed Powder Spa Body Polish. So this is what it looks like. It comes in this big tub. And I have never really tried a, like, body polish or scrub like this before this is what it looks like it's like this weird I don't even know what that looks like that's what it looks like but it smells so good first of all and I cannot wait to use this it's like really I just stuck my finger in it why I don't know but I believe oh oh it has like these scrubby beads so I think it's supposed to like polish well duh it says a body polish I guess it's supposed to scrub off all the flakes that you have in your body. Um, we'll see. I love the smell of this, and this cost me, I believe, 20 bucks. So a little bit pricey, but um, maybe it'll be worth it, I guess. So then I also from, bought from Soap and Glory the hand food, the hydrating hand cream. And this has shea butter, macadam macadamia oil, and marshmallow. I don't know what marshmallow does to your body, but... Um, this is what it looks like. This was, I think, five bucks. Um, and I need some hand cream because I have some dry hands from this win brutal winter in New York City, by the way. Just brutal. Um, yeah. So then I bought the Bumble and Bumble BB Pret A Powder. It's an equal, it's equal parts dry shampoo, style extender, and volume in a pinch. And this, I can say, definitely works. I've been using it for the past two days. And it definitely works. It smells amazing. And I would highly recommend you check this out if you haven't. This is from Bubble and Bubble. This is new. I saw this on a few girls' channels. I think HRH Collection and 
Jaclyn Hill. I believe I saw the, these two girls purchase this. So that's what drew me to buy it. And I really like it so far. Then I also picked up the Sephora. This is the Waterproof Contour Eye Pencil 12 Hour. This is a set of four. I tried this out of my hand. And these are freaking super pigmented. And they are so hard to come off. So I figured this would be great for my waterline. Um, it was a 20 this was $22, but I think it was on sale for $10. I believe I paid $10 for this. It comes with four different eyeliners. I know this is probably like blinding you guys. But it comes in a dark brown, a black, a metallic -y silver, and a navy blue. And I also bought the Sephora Liquid Liner. This is the long-lasting eyeliner in black. And this is just plain old black liquid liner. But I've used this before and I really like it. And I think that's 12 bucks. And then I also picked up the Laura Mercier Secret Camouflage um, Concealer. And this is in SC3. And I saw, what's her name? Uh, Carly Bell. Or I, I believe that's her name, Carly Bell. I saw her use this in a tutorial, I think, a few months ago. Or maybe even recently, I don't know. But I saw this and I thought I would give it a try. Um, I am a concealer junkie. I always try out different concealers and this one seemed working like it was working great for her so I thought I would try this out and it just comes with a lighter and darker shade and again I bought it in SC3. I will let you guys know how I like this and that is it. So this is a very long video but I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys later. Bye!